BTR 753086, Hardwick House, first day of term, episode 2, part 1. Piece of cake. Ready? Yeah, ready. Okay. Let's do it. Time. Lovely doggy and all. Have a nice holiday, Herbert. I went boating in the Norfolk Broads. Did a spot of fishing too. I see. You thought that'd be interesting, did you? Oh well, if you're going to be like that. No, 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 no. no. Let's get this straight. You actually thought I'd be interested in hearing about your moronic little trip around some bog. Sorry you feel that way, Herbert. Richard. Ah, hi, Mr. Fowl. It's me, Peter. Clear off. All oh, right. <laughs> oh, watch where you're going. Sorry. You would have been if you'd stood on my banner. What do you think of it anyway? Well, it's, uh, it's nice. Nice, is that all? Um, Hardwick House women say no to all fascists. And I think it's more likely the fascists would say no to Hardwick House women. Did you just grunt? Sorry? Uh, no, I don't think so. Then what was that animal sound I heard? Oh, uh, I it think It was that's... a pig, Peter, and I can smell it, too. Oh. You know, if I thought that wizened hag was referring to me, I'd put that stupid banner to good use. <laughs> uh, right, well, um, I'll leave you two to chat, then. Nice to see you both. Something, something, something. Hi there, men. Peter Philpott. Have a seat, love. Shut up. Can you see I'm tired Oh. I'm sorry, boys. Where was I? A bit bad, Jonesy. Oh, I... I... Uh, I'll be off, then. Right, then, Jones. Something, something, something net. Something, something... What's that? Something... Hair down. Ah! See, there you have it, boys. That's what footballs are about. What, Harry? <laughs> bottle. In a word, bottle. All uh, right, yeah. And character. That's right, Keefe. Bottle and character. They couldn't be simpler. No, but Harry, you've got to have commitment. And when the fish comes up for a pee, you hit it on the head with a hammer. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, good to see you. Come here. Dick, hi. Uh, sorry, fellas. I'll uh, catch you later. 
Oh, Dick, it's great to be back. Everyone's so friendly. Oi! Not there, that's William's seat. Come over here. Oh. So, you're back then? Yes, yes. Well, I saw the advert and, uh... Sorry, Dick, what are you doing? I'm dealing. So, uh, you got the job then? Yes. Well, as I've done my teaching practice here, they... What do you got? Oh. Uh, well, look, Dick, I'd rather not play if you don't mind this term. I was a bit oh, unlucky last time. Come on. Blimey. Three eights. What a hand. I suppose you'll want a bet on this. Well, I... Fair enough, I'll see you tonight. Three kings. Hard luck, Jim. No rush paying up any time before lunch. Quiet, please, ladies and gentlemen. Quiet, please. The headmaster has a few words to say to you. Has to do something to justify his salary. I heard that, Miss Crabb, and I won't stand for it. It's all right, Paul. We've got a lot to get through. I'd just like to remind you all that Mr Wickham has worked hard to get where he is. And if he wants to put his feet up now and read the paper or lounge around... Yes, thank you, Paul. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. Oh, oh. Character. Commitment. Work rate. Mr. Savage, would you please... Sit? Shooting scale. Mr. Savage, will you please stop that? Running off the ball. Shut the... <laughs> Boy, hey, what's your voice as a manager? If you need me, I'll be with the first years. Oh, sure, I can manage, Paul. Good morning, everybody. Is it? Morning. And good morning to you, sir. On behalf of the staff, I'd like to welcome you back. Pleasure to see you. Oh, thank you, Herbert. <laughs> Most kind. Now, before I start, I'm afraid I've got some very bad news. The coffee hasn't gone up again, has it? It had better not. Good grief, nothing like that. No, 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 no. Oh, no, no. What then? What then what? The bad news. What? Oh, yes, yes. Uh, what the heck was it? it uh, something to do with the music department. Uh, oh, yes, Mr Pluke. Killed himself last night. Oh. Well, I trust Headmaster's job will go to the English department. Over my dead body. No. If you insist, Miss Crabb. Really, colleagues, I hardly think this is the time. If he gets it, I'll make your life hell. <laughs> Listen, uh, with poor Mr... What's-his-name? Not even cold. Right. And I'd like to introduce young Peter Philpott, our new geography recruit. Don't change the subject! Really, I'm shocked by all this. Don't you think this is more a time for reflection? and to perhaps put our hands in our pockets to buy some small tribute. I'd agree, Headmaster. I love that man. Look, why should we? What did Pluke ever do for us? Well, listen, colleagues, all I'm suggesting... You can suggest all you like. I'll give my money to more worthy causes. Very well, Miss Crabb. I will start a collection. Contribute as you wish. I'm sure you won't find me. I'm generous, Headmaster. Oh, most generous of you, Herbert. <laughs> I must say. Right, let's get on. Firstly, paper and pens. This year, you won't collect your own paper and pens. Mr Fowle has kindly agreed to take charge of this with strict instructions to curb wastage. And I'm confident he will so do. So am I, stingy git. Far too much was wasted last year. I mean, 800 pens per class. It's a ridiculous... Uh, uh, just a minute. Uh, Miss Crabb, what are you doing? I'm collecting for hedgehogs. Hedgehogs? Have you any idea how many hedgehogs are run over on Britain's roads every year? Well, really, I hardly think this is the hey, time. Hey! Stuff hedgehogs. What about my trampoline? Heck, if you got an envelope. Uh, please, Mr Savage. Uh, Mr. Flatterman, put that envelope away, please. For history books, really. Right, no collections. Everything away. Thank you. The school fund will send a wreath. Right, now let's get on. Now, secondly, exam results. This year I've decided that we're definitely go Wait a minute. Where's my envelope? Has anyone seen it? I had five pounds in there. Yes. So did I. Somebody must have seen it. No problem. Yeah, I thought of it. Oh, yeah? You think so? Where's your keys, Roy? Your radio, Steve? <laughs> <laughs> you dozy pillock. Come on, boy. Well, I'm not going to open them. Well, I don't know it. I opened them last time. No liar. I did. What? Yeah, well, it's your job, isn't it? Your head schoolkeeper. I know, I know. But it's me back. 
Uh, I tell you what, we'll uh, we'll all do it together. Yeah, be all right then. We'll draw the bolts and you turn the key. Okay, I must. All right. Can't tell you rotten swines! Get back with you! Excuse me, sir. I'm, I'm new here. Could you just tell me the way to... Clear it off! Stop pushing you! Let's get started. Line up! Oh, no, Slash, not tripe again. Shut up! It's not tripe anyway. Something very special. Yes, that's what we've got to do then. Yeah. If you shut up and listen, I'll tell you. To be in my gang, you have to pass the sacred ordeal. Only he who eats of the liver can be admitted. Oh, great. No, Junior, wait your turn. John, you first. But Slash, it isn't even cooked. And he's got pipes. That's the old point, isn't it? Have you the nerve to eat liver with pipes, innit? Yeah. BTR 753086, Hardwick House, Episode 2, The First Day of Term, Part 2. It's here, Spuffy. There'll be enormous pressures on you. There will be lies, threats, demands. They'll do anything to get their thieving hands on my stock. I expect you'll have some trouble from some of the children, Sue. So be firm. Don't take any nonsense. I'll try, sir. Oh, and uh, another thing. Wash your hands before you touch anything in there. Don't catch those spots. <laughs> um, what was that noise, sir? Ah, yes, I... Uh, I took the precaution of electrifying the contents. You see, uh, switch this light on, and the electricity is cut. Switch it off, and the voltage goes back on again. You see? Look, watch. Uh, you go. Oh, please, sir, but I'm new. Could you just tell me the way to... <laughs> um, uh, could you uh, kindly get me a pen from in there, would you? <laughs> and uh, another one, if you miss a can. <laughs> Damn, voltage must be too strong. We're very late. That second game of cards was a bad idea. You worry too much. Take it easy. Yeah, perhaps you're right. Oh, by the way, um, that ten pounds, I can get it to you at lunchtime, but I have to see my bank manager about the there rest. There you though. go again. Don't worry. Banks don't close till half past three. Yeah. Uh, thanks, Dick. It's nice to have a friend. Think nothing of it, Tone. That's Peter, actually. Never mind. Sure you'll be all right? Uh, yes. Well, I'll start sometime, haven't I? I'm quite excited, actually. I always try new teachers on at first. Remember what I told you. Be tough, OK? Yes. Yes, you're right. Hopefully, uh, see you later.
Excuse me. Excuse me. Um, I'm your new teacher. Let me in. Hi. How's it going? The answer is no. Oh, come on, Herbert. No, don't come on, Herbert, me. And another thing. I've cancelled your entire order. Mickey Mouse Sharpers. Good God, man, whatever next. OK, OK, but, uh, could you let us have a couple of boxes of pens? I wouldn't ask her, but, but you know, I promised them to a friend. Yes, well, uh, you can tell your friend we've subsidised his news agents long enough. And that is your final word? It is. Well, you know what you can do with your pens. Thank you. Ah, good. All done? Yes, sir. I, I told the doctor I found her with a finger in a socket. <laughs> Something terrible's happened. You remember them Batman rubbers and the uh, Tomahawk pencils I ordered, yeah? Yes. yeah. yeah. And the uh, pens with a sharp went up and down. Not going to get them. Oh. We're going to have to use ordinary ones. Oh, it's not the same, sir. I'm not doing any work. Me neither. It's not my fault. Mr. Fowl has cancelled them. Oh, it's really mean, sir. Yes, Adrian. It's not fair. No, Angela. But that doesn't mean that I want anyone going and. Uh, Letting the tyres down on that red angler of his, for instance, or uh, putting chewing gum in his keyhole, or um, dropping things on him when he's going down the stairs. Understood? Yes, sir. Good. Now we've got some duties to sort out. Um, Darren, you pick up my sporting life in the mornings. Uh, Fiona, if Darren's absent, you do it. Angela, if Fiona's absent, you do it. So, we're doing any history this year? History? Oh, yeah. History. Yes, yeah, of course. Cool. Uh, we're starting with China. Oh, boring, right? Not necessarily. You see, I could be using quite a lot of relevant audio-visual material. Uh, for instance, Enter the Dragon. Oh. Fist of Fury. Yeah. Fury of the Dragon. Sir, can we start now? Not yet. We've still got some duties to sort out. Adrian, you pick up my cheese roll. Second thoughts, Jonathan, you do it. All right, that's enough. Stop now. But I'm warning you, John. If you puke up, don't count, you know. I know, Slasher. I'm trying not to. Honest. All right. But I'm watching. Right, down to business. First thing we got to do is get hold of the pens and paper before people ruin them all by writing and stuff. But Fowl's in charge of it this year, Slash. We'll never get it off him. I know. I know. That's why we need the liver. Junior, will you stop it? There'll be none left, you pig. God, let's finish this bit, Slash. No, we need it. It's part of the plan. What plan is that, Slash? If you shut up and listen, I'll tell you. Quiet! I said quiet! people's classes in French. You put your hand up and wait if you want to ask a question. Is that clear? Yes, yes miss. <gasps> yes. Please, miss, can I go to the toilet now, please, miss? No, not until you ask me properly, and that goes for everyone else, too. But I said please, miss. That bit's all right. It's something else. Please, miss, may I go to the toilet? No, you still haven't got it. Anyone help? Hmm? Erica. To the bog, miss. <laughs> Stand up, you stupid girl. Chris. Chris, that's what I was going to say. I don't believe this. Are you telling me that none of you knows I how know to... I know it. Good. What is it? Please, Mrs. Uh, can I go? <laughs> out! Go on, out! <laughs> now, listen carefully, all of you. From now on, you will address me as Ms. Crab. Not Miss. Ms. Do you understand? Yes. Yes, yes Miss. Good. Now, French. Can anyone tell me the meaning of le cannibal? Hmm? Any ideas? No? No. It means cannibal. Oh, miss, give us an easy and one. And who knows what a cannibal does? He eats people. 
Exactly. Now, let me ask you a question, Everton. Would you like to eat me? Yeah. Uh, just a simple yes or no, boy. Mm. No, of course you wouldn't. It's revolting. But you're all very quick to criticise the cannibal when your eating habits are just as bad. What do you mean, miss? Well, what did you have for Sunday lunch? Cornflakes. No. Oh. Breakfast? Chips. Yes, I've met your mother, Doreen. Let's try someone else, shall we? Helen, what did you have for breakfast? Bacon and eggs. There, you see. What, miss? Think about it. It's revolting. Oh, I get it. Good lad, Everton, tell us. It's the egg. It came from the chicken's bum. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the point. It did, did miss it. Did. Did. That's not the point. Did. What are you doing, Cretin? Trevor, sir. You could be rover for all I care. To me, you are simply Cretin. Now, what are you doing? Just standing, sir. Mm -hmm. Something you learnt in PE, was it? What, sir? I know, let me try another trick. Why are you standing there? Don't know, sir. <laughs> I'll give you a clue. Did someone tell you to stand there? Yes, sir. Miss Crab. Oh. Was it because you were uh, particularly loathsome? I'm not really sure, sir. I know I just called him Mrs. What? <laughs> Wonderful. Nevertheless, you shouldn't have upset her. After all, she's a very sick woman. What's wrong with you, sir? Do you got bowels? Is that serious, sir? Serious, I'll say it is. Right, yeah. You know you're dumb, don't you? You won't flame them. Oh, she dies, sir. Perhaps. She might implode. Oh, she would quickly and apologise. Please, miss. I'm sorry if I inflame your files. <laughs> what? Dear Miss Hancock, thank you for your letter. Are you sure, however, that it was a child from Hardwick House who bit your dog? Oh, damn. Agnes, can you get some pens from Mr. Fowle, please? It was a good decision putting him in charge, wasn't it? Agnes? She's in that ball, can't Yeah, thank you, Ernest. <laughs> Oh, Ernest. What? Could... Oh, don't bother. I'll wait till Agnes gets back. To right, pal. <laughs> ah, good. You've arrived. Now, there's been a change of plan. I want you to take all your loads back to where you got them. I've decided I'm not going to put all my eggs in one. Drop that and I'll kill you, basket. No. What have you bought up from your crypt, Igor? Two boxes of pens, three boxes of pencils, two boxes of rubbers. Ah, uh, good. What's it? Looks like a trail of blood. Has anybody been here while I've been away? Don't know, sir. We just got to you. Good God! Ah. Somebody's left a pair of liver by the door. <laughs> Is the best. Oh, don't say I see mine yet. Oh, God. Don't tell me, Spotty, there's a staple missing. No, sir, nothing like that. Look. Good God. He's delirious. I know, sir. He's been bitten by a dog. Slash up. Mr. Fowl's been bitten. Yeah, I know. Go and tell Mr. Wickham. I've done it. And fetch the school keepers. They're coming. Yeah. They're coming. Right, in. where is he then? Here. Uh, right, Terence, give me a hand. That's it, lads. Gently. No! What's going on? 
It's Mr. Fowl. He's delirious. He's been bitten, sir. Oh, my God, he started on people. Uh, We've got to find this boy. No, no, sir, it was a dog, sir. No dog. Wolf. No! Not wolf. Boy. But, sir, I saw it. No, you didn't, boy. Just this moment I've been writing. Oh, the stock. <laughs> Will someone keep him quiet? Oh, oh, shut up! He's right, Mr. Wickham. Got to look after the stock. Give us a key, sir, and I'll lock up. For God's sake, keep him quiet. We gag him or something. Come on, Herbert. Give us a hand, Slash. Junior! <laughs> ah! Right, we'll mosey down to casualty. Here, yeah, Spotty, you go with them. Good chance to get them spots looked at. Oh, thanks, sir. I'm going to find this boy. It's the last thing I do. Well, Slasher, looks like we're in charge of stock. <laughs>